Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marianne Epperson and welcome to my 90s makeup tutorial using only super affordable makeup. Yes guys, I got you. You do not need expensive makeup to create an amazing look. So let me take you through this tutorial. For this 90s look, I threw on a black ringer tee and an oversized denim jacket, along with my space buns, of course, and pink prescription glasses. My makeup pouch is actually from Glossier. It only costs 50 pesos when you buy it from coolsmanel.com, so if you're looking for an affordable pouch, there you go. To start, I make sure to always prime my face with Always Sunday's Minty Matcha Clarifying Face Mist. It's only $2.99 and you get a toner and moisturizer in one. It's good for oily skin and acne prone skin and preps my face for makeup. My go-to drugstore foundation is Maybelline's Fit Me in the shade 125 for only 399 pesos. It offers medium to full coverage when you apply it with a damp sponge and it gives an absolutely flawless finish when it's blended right. So I'm just dotting it all over my face and making sure that it's all pressed into my skin. And I love the shade because it perfectly matches my skin tone. Next up is ColourPop $6 Concealer, or that's about 300 pesos. It's the bomb. They have 15 shades available and they offer great coverage. So medium 30 is my shade and it's the perfect match to my skin tone. And I feel like these concealers are actually pretty underrated because they're great quality for such a low price. This 750 peso bronzer is the most expensive product here, but girl, I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's Physicians Formulas Butter Bronzer and it smells so good you could eat it. This is essentially a cheaper and honestly a better dupe of Benefit's Hula Bronzer. It gives a really nice glow, just like you just got a tan on the beach and it's to die for. The smell is just probably the best part about it, aside from the quality. This cute Hello Kitty blush from Minisol was actually a Christmas gift to me. I believe it's about 300 pesos and delivers a really nice natural flush that's easily buildable and blendable. The blush itself comes with its own built-in mirror and brush also, so it's perfect if you're on the go. But right now I'm just applying it with a blush brush. I know they had thin arched eyebrows in the 90s, but let's be real, my eyebrows are so thick. So I use Maybelline's Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer for only $399 and to all the full browed girls, you will thank me because this fills in your brows with fibers making them appear fuller and I just use this fully brush to sculpt everything in place. An affordable palette is the Maybelline The Nudes Palette for $675, it's my new go-to everyday palette. For this look, I'm only using two shades starting off with the fifth shade. It's like a light taupe and I'm putting it all over my lid and right under the eye as well. With the darker brown that's right next to the first color I used, I'm using a flat brush to line my eyes and blending it out and also blending that dark brown onto my lower lash line as well to give it a little bit more dimension. This $8 or 400 peso highlighter from ColourPop in Here Kitty Kitty is good for fair to medium skin tones. It's a pinky champagne that definitely pops. I mean, look at that glow, guys. I'm also going to be using this highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes to make them pop as well because who doesn't want to glow like the sun? To finish off the eyes, I'm using Maybelline's 349 Basil Lash Sensational Mascara. Oh my gosh, it's so affordable but so effective as it volumizes and lifts the lashes without plumping and it really makes the eyes look great. I love this brush. I like the way it kind of like fans out the lashes and I don't even have to curl them for them to really like stand out. So if you're thinking about an affordable mascara, this is the one to go for. It's not waterproof, so if you want to make sure it doesn't run, especially on the lower lash line, then you can find another affordable waterproof one for Maybelline, I'm sure. And to finish off this 90s look, I'm using L'Oreal Paris's 400 best lipstick in Beige Revue. Is that how you say it? Guys, I'm not French. Anyway, it's a wearable mauve tone, but they also have more browns or darker shades if you want to amp up the 90s look. And I will be setting everything with the Always Sunday Minty Matcha. And here you go.
And there you have it guys, this is my 90s look done with super affordable makeup. All the stuff that I've used in this video can be found in the description box down below. They're mostly drugstore products, but other stuff I've found in bazaars and online. It is super easy to recreate. It can be worn for every day. You can turn down the 90s by ditching the hair and um, the outfit, the, the glasses and everything. But I think, you know, this is a pretty wearable look. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want any more of these makeup videos or if you have suggestions for future ones, you can leave it in the comment box down below. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button down below if you want a notification for every time I post a video. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!